hey everyone welcome back on the channel and before starting the video i have an announcement to make so we currently have as of the time of this making this video like uh, 2.6k subscribers so uh, i'm thinking of making a giveaway on our 3k subscriber so here is the full details like uh, i want to give away two copy of uh, any offline activated games like uh, you can uh, which games that's totally up to you guys like uh, i need you guys to comment uh, the name of the two games uh, i will give one copy of each game like for suppose one copy of uh, red dead redemption and one copy of assassin's creed mirage uh, this is a, just an example but uh, you guys can comment down like which games uh, you guys want me to give it away and when we get to 3000 subscriber uh, i'll make a community post and uh, i want you guys to comment on that community post with your name and i'll do a random lottery type of thing and select uh, two winners uh, so yeah mm, now let's get back to the video uh, so this is the long awaited uh, baldur's gate 3 baldur's gate 3 whatever you call uh, first thing first uh, if you want to make the mod work you need to follow two to three things uh, you need to go to option then go to video and make sure your game is running on borderless window not full screen or windowed mode uh, on borderless window and after that uh, some people uh, has facing crashing issue with uh, uh, vsync off so first you can do one thing uh, you can turn on the it to double buffering uh, before pasting the mod and then when you paste the mod and get into the game main menu then you can disable it from the uh, setting option so but first uh, you can just uh, turn it on a uh, double buffering if you are facing crashing issue after testing the mod so and after that uh, we just gonna disable the nvidia dlss and the rest of the settings are right now on high and i am playing on 1080p as you can see so let's get back to the any checkpoint uh, like i'm just at the prologue of the game and see how much fps we are getting without the mod installed Okay, so we are uh, at this, uh, I don't know what kind of uh, place it is, but there is no anti-lazing applied. That's why it was very shimmery. Okay, so we are getting around uh, like only 70 to 80 FPS while roaming around this area. Mm, yeah so yeah we'll begin the installation of the mod right now and also one thing that uh, this mod only works in directx 11 version so yeah i'll also show you how to start the game in directx 11 every time so first we're gonna quit the game and after quitting uh we will be needing this zip so you can find it on my discord uh so we're gonna extract the zip here we're gonna copy everything inside then we're gonna go to the installation directory of Baldur's Gate. <coughs> then after the installation directory, we're just gonna go to the bean folder where the bg3xc and dx11.exe is located. We're gonna paste the mod here. Now after pasting, you will need to run the game in DirectX 11 always. So what you can do is uh, just select the bg3dx11 and right click on it. Then go to send to and then click on desktop shortcut. So by this method, uh, you will always be, you can just rename it to BG3. You will always be able to run the game from DirectX uh, 11. So yeah, we're just going to start the game now. Yeah, for it, for it. Okay, we are now into the main menu. Mm, so we are just gonna go to the option, then video. Uh, you can see a little bit code flicker here. So if I activate the DLS, it will be reduced by some margin. Uh, like there, uh, it is now very less, uh, but still the code flicker is a little bit there. You can see in this area. 
so yeah we're just gonna just now reach the checkpoint and then i will show you the in-game shortcut also the ui to fix everything uh, like tweak and everything okay so we are uh, back in the game and as you can already see fps has already locked to 143 144 uh, so if you want further uh, like uh, what do you say tweaking you can just press end on your keyboard and this tool will pop up on your screen now you can use uh, anything from here uh, like uh, you can use fsr3 upscaling dlss or xss whichever you want uh, all is all upscaler are compatible with this mod like xss you can see here dlss is also compatible uh so oh one thing i forgot to mention. you can also use dlss here uh you can also select the preset whichever you want to use but my why my character is moving here okay uh so i misclicked that one uh you can see here this is the hood fix like if you want to check it it will flicker even more uh, but if you tick it, it will flicker a little less. So right now the game is in this situation that the hood is uh, not the hood. The game CY is if uh, games like uh, graphics are flickering a little, but the hood is totally fixed. Like the hoods are totally okay. So I don't know if that's on my end or it's a general issue. So if something comes up, like an update comes on, then I'll surely update. Uh, and yeah, you guys can use uh, until then. You guys can use uh, this mod and have better frame rates like you can even use fsr 3 upscaling uh, with that uh, you can press delete again to just hide the mod and you can just play uh, with this uh, settings so you can already see that psc is locked to 143 144 and yeah uh, this will be it uh, if this video helps you uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and if you face any kind of issue you can comment down below and yeah uh, enjoy the game and do not forget about the giveaway uh, which uh, i talked uh, earlier please uh, mention your uh, name of the games so which two games uh, you guys want to like uh, make me give away so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers